by the desk here this afternoon, and I know that he is now home watching at redshores.ca. That's a beautiful looking new starting gate we have here, and it's in action this afternoon. Metro Home Building Center starting gate has the field for the afternoon's third race. Let's go upstairs to Vance Cameron. Bad Silver, What a Babe, Dueling Banjos, Outrageous Spirit, Bedham, Vicky, Claire Hall, Hanover. Hurricane Hill and Acro, Tour Eaters, Eight of them on the gate, the afternoon's third race. Chop a stretch. They're approaching a start. The rough and pacing outrageous spirit is the first one out. What a babe second along the rail, bad silver third, coming from the outside fourth. That's Bedham Vicky on the turn fifth. At the inside is Dueling Banjos, dropping in six, Acro Jury, then seventh, Claire Hall Hanover, trailing the field. Hurricane Hill along the back stretch they go. What a babe headed on to the lead in line to David Dowling. Second along the rail, that's outrageous spirit racing from third, bad silver. Fourth on the cones is Dueling Banjos. Now in fifth, that's Bedham Vicky. Tipping to the outside six is Claire Hall Hanover. Then at the rail, Acro Turi seventh, and Hurricane Hill is eighth. 29 and four was the quarter. They arrive at the 3 8. Backfield well in motion on the point. That is what a babe, the leader. Racing from second, outrageous spirit. First up is Dueling Banjos, third. Following the cover on the outside fourth is Bedham Vicky. Bad Silver now hemmed in at the rail, fifth on the outside six. That's Claire Hall Hanover. Acro Turi seventh. Hurricane Hill is eighth. One minute and a one fifth for an opening half mile. Midway into the paddock turn, approaching five eighths, led by What a Babe. From the outside at her wheel is Dueling Banjos, now in the pocket third. Outrageous Spirit coming three wide fourth. That is Bedham Vicky getting into it. Fifth is Bad Silver, Rachel on the inside. Up on the outside, that is Claire Hall Hanover. Then between horses, Acro Turi trailing the field. Hurricane Hill, but she's not out of it. Wow! All eight still in it. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. Three quarters in one. 31 and one. They have an eight left to go. What a babe is trying to see it through. Second is Outrageous Spirit. Way, way wide, Claire Hall Hanover. Acro Turi is coming late. Deep in the stretch, outrageous spirit will win in line to Adam Murner. Acro Turi rallies in second. What a babe held third. Time for the mile in 2 0 2 and 1. As you predicted, Kurt, Outrageous Spirit gets her 40th lifetime win here this afternoon. Pocket riding on the Fraction Center. What a babe here today. Great win. She's been such a great overnight mare over the last number of years here for the connections of Paul Holmes and uh, Kevin Peters. Kevin, the trainer, this mare, what a treat to drive. She can just bust off the wings and get you set up either on the front or in the two hole whatever trip you kind of want to work out. And Murder wanted to work out that two-hole ride behind What a Babe here today. Converts from that pocket trip to get the job done as she just drives away down the lane, picking up win number 40. What an effort from her here today. And what an effort from Akrotiri from post eight, rallying up to get the deuce in here. A great effort from her as well and Kenny Arsenault. And What a Babe, who did all the work early, gets the show dough. But it's outrageous spirit and Murder capturing race three here at Red Shores.
co-owner and breeder Paul Holmes has been in the winner's circle for 40. Lifetime wins with outrageous spirit. She's the third race winner. Bay pacing mare 10 by Articulator. Off the Cami Backstam Outrageous Storm. Owned by Paul Holmes of Warren Grove and Kevin Peters of Emmyvale. Kevin Eves, the trainer. Adam Murner guides her to her 40th lifetime victory today for a mile in 2-0, 2-1. Outrageous spirit in the third. <laughs> 